There is this giant excitement level for this tournament as we build up to it. Every boat yard's full of boats getting ready. All the tackle shops have tackle in there getting ready, getting prepared. I don't know of any captain that doesn't want to fish this, no matter if they're in Morehead City or Isla Mirada. We all want to be part of it. The Big Rock is the greatest blue marlin tournament in the world, period. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. Bring him up, bring him up. Really, really, if he doubles on that line, you lose it. Came up on the left short, pounded the One million six hundred and seventy-eight thousand dollars. This is your new leader. Moorhead City was coming out of World War II. The Moorhead City waterfront was boat building, commercial fish houses. It was a working commercial waterfront. There weren't that many sport fishing boats, certainly not what we know them as today. Up until 1957, a blue marlin had never been landed off of the coast of Moorhead City. And a group of the local businessmen got together and said, well, let's put some money together and get people encouraged to go out there and fish for it and participate. And that's really the basis of where the tournament started from. In September 14th, 1957, Jimmy Croy leaves the dock on the Mary Z with Captain Bill Olson from the Moorhead City Yacht Basin. The sea trial for that boat, and they go out and catch a blue marlin. I wish I could have been there for the excitement. That changed fishing in Moorhead City forever. We started out this small little tournament trying to put Moorhead City on the map with sport fishing. Promote sport fishing in Carter County, promote sport fishing in North Carolina, and give money away to charities. And so that was our very simple mission from day one. The foundation is the charitable arm of the tournament, and the charitable arm is really why Big Rock exists, to fund our core charities. They depended on those funds every year for programs. If for whatever reason the Big Rock Tournament could not go on as planned, the foundation exists to make sure that those charitable donations will be made on an annual basis. We have a core group of charities that we give to every year a certain amount of money, but then we look for bigger projects and higher impact projects, something that the Big Rock could really make a difference in whether that project happens or not. We've been able to do so much more than just what we thought the tournament could in the beginning. This past year, we were able to give $1 million away in a single tournament year. The Big Rock Tournament is pleased to donate $1 million. And I think it speaks to the growth of the tournament, the growth of the industry, the growth of Moorhead City, the cultural phenomenon that the Big Rock has become. The Big Rock is the Super Bowl of fishing. And when you think about the Super Bowl, you think about all the impact it has. How does it affect the community? How does it affect the state? How does it affect everybody that's around it or touches it? I was in a meeting recently with one of our charities. The president of that organization looked at me and said, Tommy, our organizations have a lot in common. We're both in the hope business. The guy's fishing. I hope I catch that big one. I hope I win that big money. But for those of us, maybe we're not participants, but we love the tournament. We love the charitable work that it does. The money that we give is helping achieve a hope. It makes that dream become a reality. When you really dig down to what the Big Rock is, the Big Rock is about changing lives. It's life-changing if you win, it's life-changing to the people to see a blue morning for the first time, and it's life-changing to the charities benefit. You're all part of that story. And we would like to expand that growth into the community, into different people that want to be a part of the tournament, that maybe can't come and fish the tournament, but want to be a part of what the Big Rock is all about. It's a donation from you. It's a t-shirt bought in our retail store. It's a sponsor supported across all three tournaments, Big Rock, Big Rock Kids, and KWLA. It's very important for all the support that we can garner to continue the legacy of Big Rock.
good afternoon to our Big Rock family and friends who are joining us by Big Rock TV from all over the world. And for those of you that who have joined us here uh, live this afternoon, uh, we're delighted to have you with us as the record-setting 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament continues. Yeah, that's right. We've already got a good crowd here. That's a good sign. I hope we have something to show you today. Anyway, the story of today is 255 boats out of the field of 266 fishing, obviously 11 uh, taking one of those mandatory two lay days today. Uh, the fishing has actually been quite good today. Um, right now, there are no blue marlin coming to the scales, but there are several boats hooked up to the best of my knowledge. As of 2.30 this afternoon, we had the fleet had caught and released 32 blue marlins, 22 white marlins, and two sailfish. There are several boats with uh, at least three uh, releases today, and I do know that the Safari, uh, beautiful 72-foot Viking, has three blue marlins and one sailfish uh, released today and has vaulted into the money in the release division. So uh, let's just let's take a quick look here. Um, those of you around, if you, I, I tell you, the Big Rock app is just loaded with information. If you want to really know what's going on, take a look at the Big Rock app. And of course, our website is chock full of information. Uh, really, with all the releases today, there's been a major shakeup in, in the release divisions. The wave paver uh, has been the constant this week. They're remaining in first place in the uh, release division for the sonar boats and the non-sonar boats the irene on a very strong day has vaulted into the lead uh, and there is a lot of money available the irene has picked up about 178 180 thousand dollars today uh, with their performance here today another big story one of our previous winners the pelagic hunter 2 uh, has uh, caught and released two blue marlins moves into the lead in the outboard division and uh, also in the winner take all outboard division forty two thousand five hundred dollars available to him uh, that's more uh, prize money in his case than uh, many tournaments pay out uh, to their first place winner so uh, pelagic hunter two a very enthusiastic crew on that boat and as i said a um, a small outboard powered boat actually bested the whole field about three years ago won the whole thing uh, quite a story there so um, as things move on here we'll try to keep you up to date the very best that we can um, again no blue marlins coming to the scales as of right now it's uh, you know 3:15 or so. Fishing was over at three o'clock. Uh, however, we do expect uh, you know the fishing's over at three. You know between 4:30 and five, the boats will start coming in with their game fish. Uh, in case you missed it yesterday, the Desperado uh, Captain Gray Blunt uh, threw down a very nice 131.2 pound yellowfin tuna, one of the biggest tuna fish we've seen in a long time. Uh, he can probably just go ahead and cash that $7,000 check that he's going to win for that. Uh, the other big story to me is that the uh, Dolphin Division is wide open. There is, get this now, $527,000 to the winner of the Dolphin Division. That's right, a half million dollars and some change. Uh, it generally takes north of 50 pounds to win that division. Our leader right now is the J&B. Uh, I believe that's a 29 and a half pound dolphin. Yes, 29 and a half pound dolphin in that category. So um, it is entirely possible that somebody could come up here and throw down a very nice dolphin, and you will see a lot of excitement if it happens here on Big Rock TV. Uh, maybe get a chance to win a little over a half a million bucks. Of course, the story, the other story of the tournament so far is the Mercenaria. In the lead in the Blue Marlin division, a 572.6 pound Blue Marlin, uh, currently worth uh, pushing three and a half million dollars to the winner of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin tournament. If that fish, uh, if that Blue Marlin holds up, so uh, great day today. Yesterday it was hot, hot, hot. Uh, today it feels like somebody's turned the air conditioner on even though it's only about 80 degrees but it's uh feels good out here uh for those of you who are joining us on the waterfront enjoy uh enjoy your stay here 
at Big Rock Landing as you walk up and down the waterfront. Make sure you visit our sponsors. They're out here. I know uh, Lindsey Parker, right behind you, right in front of me, has got some product out here, some trucks, our legend sponsor. You can go hit her up for a free bottle of water and register for a Yeti cooler. Our major sponsor, Jarrett Bay Boat Works, is right here beside me. And the, those girls have uh, done a brisk business here this week. Come see them and pick up some Jarrett Bay uh, product. Obviously, visit the Big Rock store as well. Everything you buy over there, of course, helps our charities here in our local community. So uh, we'll be with you here. Uh, the Game Fish Scales will close at 7 o'clock tonight, according to the rules. But uh, as uh, things develop, any blue marlins that come along, hey, you might know it before I do. Let me know. But uh, if, if it happens and uh, we see a blue marlin today, we'll be right here to bring it to you. So stay with us. Enjoy a great afternoon here on the Moorhead City Waterfront. Those of you that are watching around the world, hey, just watch this beautiful stream. It's a beautiful picture here uh, of Big Rock Landing and the Waystale. So we'll be with you here uh, throughout the day. Stay with us. Back as, uh, as events unfold here on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Well, folks, surprise, surprise, here, fishing's over at 3 o'clock. We've already got our first Dolphins of the day. And just so you'll know, the tournament pays daily prizes for first and second place in all of the game fish divisions, meaning the Dolphin, Wahoo, and Yellowfin Tunas. Uh, so $2,000 for first place and $1,000 for second. Again, that first place dolphin is 29 and a half pounds. I don't know that these are going to do it, but they will be in the lead in the daily uh, division here in the dolphin division. Looks like it came off this regulator over here. Another uh, one of those beautiful North Carolina built boats. The white whale. How about that? I guess Carly's writing it down for us.
Well, now, George, you, you never know. George says she'll definitely be leading the pack. Might hold up. You never can tell. We'll talk to them and find out what the conditions were like today, too. Here on the White Whale, this is a 9.8 pound dolphin. All right, Mom, let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear what? You're very enthusiastic here. Tell us about today. Well, so today was beautiful when we first started out. It was like almost like glass. And then about two hours ago, I turned and I said, Sean, that looks like rain. And then we got on the um, radar and we were cir being circled by rain. And he found like this little slither and there was lightning going all around us as we came in. So is that what prompted you to come home a little early today? Yes, and also the marine warning. There was like this marine warning that everybody should get off the water. Well, I got you. Well, you're, you're, hey, you're in the lead right now for the daily uh, first and second place in the Dolphin. Let me get out your pictures here. Jump in there and have some more pictures. Weather obviously plays a big role in tournament fishing. Got a little sparky out there today. Some of the fleet decided to come home a little early. I think the general feeling of the fleet is obviously just about everybody went today. And we'll probably see half the fleet go tomorrow, maybe a little prettier on Saturday. Lots of, uh, lots of tournament crews really want to fish on that last day uh, just to be out there and have a chance as the clock expires. And again, I do want to correct myself from yesterday. Fishing this year on the last day will be from 9 to 3. Traditionally, it has been from 8 to 2. But fishing on the last day of the 64th Big Rock Tournament will be a change. Fishing from 9 to 3 on Saturday. Well, good job there on the white whale today, this beautiful regulator that's tied up here at Big Rock Landing. A couple of dolphins leading us off for the day and taking the lead in the daily dolphin division. $2,000 for first place and 1000 for second. So uh, who knows? Nice, uh, nice to see somebody here a little early. Wake George and Randy up a little bit and get, get us ready for the rest of the day. There you go. It's one of those days, Randy. It's day, day four, you know, and that's about, that's about right.
Well, things are really heating up here at 3.30. A little bit unusual, but again, uh, another outboard powered boat uh, headed to the dock here. This is a, a nice little wahoo and another dolphin. And our gals Natalie attired here today in their very fashionable fishing boots. You gotta love them. I think this, uh, this particular crew has visited us once already this week. The wasting time here. And this is a 15.7 pound Wahoo. Again, a couple thousand bucks here for the first place Wahoo every day. And we'll check that leaderboard just so you'll know the leader for the week in the Wahoo division is 104.7 pounds. We've talked about it. We've seen a lot of Wahoo this week, uh, every day this week. We talk about great eating, great table fare. If you get a chance to see it on the menu, order it. You will not be disappointed, I'm sure. Christy Manning here, our angler, Captain Jay Manning. Really great looking Cobia outboard uh, with uh, Yamaha power on it, looks like over there. 40 outboards fishing in the tournament this year out of the 266 boats. I do believe that's probably the most outboards we've ever had in a big rock tournament. And let's see, our second place dolphin today is 9.8. I don't know that that's not going to do it. I was right on the money. 9.6 on this one. But that Wahoo's got a little value to it, other than tasting great on the table. Nicole Manning here, our angler. Captain Jay Manning again. Smiles all around. They've been here once before this week. Great to have them back and welcome them to Big Rock Landing. So let's give a nice hand here to, uh, to the wasting time. Probably got a little sparky out there and they probably decided they were gonna head back to the dock too. All right, good looking crew here on the Wasting Time. Congratulations, guys, to all of you. Guys and gals, should say.
While our outboards are keeping us entertained here uh, this afternoon, this is the Trixie coming in, and I believe this might be the smallest boat in the tournament at 25 feet. I, I, somebody out there, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is, uh, there might be another 25 footer in the tournament, and we might see it here in just a second, to be honest with you, but I, I do believe this is, uh, oh no, I am corrected. There is a 21 foot Parker the Barber J fishing in the tournament, but this is probably the next smallest boat in the tournament right here. Must have gotten a little uh, sparky and a little rough out there. These guys came home a little bit early. But again, 40 of the 266 boats fishing in the tournament this year are outboard powered boats. And again, Three years ago, a outboard powered boat won the whole thing. So it certainly can be done. Uh, it's a great way to participate in the tournament and uh, vie for that $520,000 plus big dolphin prize too. I know a lot of the guys have that in mind. But of course, you get to uh, you get to tell all your friends that you fished in the tournament. You get to wear the T-shirt that says you were a participant. And just like this young lady, you get to make a visit to Big Rock Landing. How about that? Again, that second place fish thus far today, 9.8 pounds. Well, how about it? 9.9 .9 pounds here. The leaderboard has changed here this afternoon. And I'm sure they'll take it right here on the Trixie. Let's see here. Our angler, Kalen Bilston, how'd I do? All right, Kalen Bilston. I guess hus husband Mark Bilston is our captain. Oh, Dad, sorry. So, Kalen, where is your husband? Non-existent. So, Kalen's in the market here. Hey, she's got a boat. Hey, Captain Mark. Congratulations to you. Thanks, Tommy. Tell us about the weather today. It was uh, beautiful this morning, and then uh, we headed off to a spot where we saw the water was going to be pretty decent. Ended up being a little shallower than we liked, so we went ahead and headed uh, northeast into the deeper water and ended up catching that mahi right before uh, the storms hit. I, I guess it got a little sporty time to come home a little bit early today, maybe. Yeah, we were dodging through the lightning, and uh, it was actually sportier yesterday than it was today in that boat. But uh, yesterday was really tough. Today was a piece of cake with the Grady. So the seas were not the factor today. It was lightning today. Lightning and rain was coming in. We dodged between two sets of storms, and thankfully we had radar, so we just picked our way through and came on back. Gotcha. Well, there's a first-hand report of weather conditions offshore today. Congratulations, Captain Mark. Uh, nice 9.9-pound .9 dolphin there on the Trixie. Changes that leaderboard a little bit. Who knows what will happen? Kaylin brought her fan club. It's good to hear from y'all. Why not? One of the smaller boats in the tournament, as we discussed. I guess it's kind of a giant compared to that 21 Parker. It just goes to show you that you don't have to have a 60-footer uh, to compete around here.
Well, you are getting ready to see the leaderboard move again here. Sorry to our friends on the Trixie. I'm sure it was fun while it lasted. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be your new daily leader here. Bumping the white whale, that good-looking regulator that was here earlier. See what Randy Gregory's got to say. 14.9 pound dolphin. That'll move the leaderboard a little bit. That $2,000 daily prize and the $1,000 second place daily prize. And of course, we mentioned it earlier, the winner take all dolphin leader right now is 29 and a half pounds. Looking at $527,000 for that. Generally, it seems like it's going to take north of 50 pounds to win that. So this is a 23-foot Key West. I'm, let's say this is probably the second smallest. Say again? Second smallest. He knows. He knows. The Geek Box IT. Okay. John Longest, our captain and angler. Let's talk to one of these boys and see how it was out there today. Hey, congratulations to you. Hey, you're, you're in the lead in the daily prize today. How about it? We, we came back fast. <laughs> um, it, today was the best day. Yeah, I, I guess we heard from the Trixie just a little while ago, sea conditions, not necessarily that bad, but the lightning and uh, stuff, a little sparky out there, huh? Yes, sir. Fortunately, we have radar, so we could at least see the storms. You could dodge them. Good, good for you. Congratulations to you. Taking the lead here on the Geek Box IT in the Daily uh, Dolphin Division, a 14.9-pound dolphin. Again on the boot. And, of course, uh, they're passing their competition and saying, congratulations, boys, because you're now in first place. Let's see who this is. Well, I will say this for the fleet. They're, they're getting bigger. Oh, that's a good quality dolphin right there. All right, as predicted here, a new leader today. This is a 20.7 pound dolphin. Let's see, Carly, on the keeping it real. The leaderboard's moving all over the place. 20.7 pound dolphin here. Again, on the keeping it real, Jason Sage, our angler, Keith Harrison, our captain. Moving that leaderboard around. Keeping Carly busy over here on the on the whiteboard, keeping us straight. And this is a 7.1 pound dolphin on the keeping it real. Peter Ramsey, our angler here. 
smiles all around one way or the other. Nice day of fishing on the keeping it real. And they'll have a nice dinner tonight and tomorrow as well. Let's do a quick check here on boats that are still hooked up. Looks like we've got three still hooked up. The breakwater has been hooked up for uh, for a couple of hours and uh, and a while. Uh, local charter boat hooked up at 131. Uh, the Miss Y hooked up 136, still uh, hooked up most probably to a Blue Marlin. And the Due South, right before, uh, right before lines, uh, out time was called today at 2:55. I hooked up the Due South, a charter boat here on the Moorhead City waterfront. So we've got three hooked up, and who knows? Maybe we'll have a late night appearance here of a blue marlin. So stay with us. We'll keep you posted the very best we can 
as uh, events unfold here in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament right here on day four at the Moorhead City Waterfront. Stay with us.
Okay, everyone, I'm pleased to be joined by Brian Parker. Brian is uh, a member of the Parker family, obviously, uh, the Parker Automotive Group. Uh, granddad Dick was one of the uh, original members of the Fabulous Fisherman's Club, and you heard from his sister, Lindsay, yesterday. Uh, Brian is here to talk to us about uh, the car business. Got a couple of vehicles over here, some product on the waterfront. Brian, welcome back to uh, Big Rock TV and Big Rock Landing. How are sir, things today? Yes, sir, Mr. Tommy. Appreciate you guys having me back here again, and we're pleased to be a sponsor of the Big Rock and uh, pleased to be a part of all this activity going on down here. It's been a good tournament so far, huh? Yeah, yeah. And look, we're we're off to a good start today. You, you know, we normally expect people here about 4.30. We, 3.30, we were going at it already and have had leaderboard changes. Uh, tell us what kind of product you got here you, from uh, two stores here in, uh, in Moorhead City. Yes, sir. From our Honda store, we've got a, uh, I believe that's a Honda Pilot, brand new Honda Pilot out there. And on the GMC side, we have a, kind of a rare piece these days, which is a 2500 HD Sierra pickup truck. They're tough to find, but they're a heck of a machine, and we're lucky to have one here uh, for everybody to take a look at. So, yeah. And, and you would part with it maybe right here on the spot? They are both available, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Come see me after the interview if you're interested. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, those of you down here on the waterfront or, heck, if you're listening somewhere and you're looking for one of these uh, rare, fine trucks, get yourself down here, buy yourself a truck right here at Big Rock Landing. Uh, Brian, how, how's business? Tell, tell us about this family business now that I mentioned two stores in Moorhead, um, the, the Buick GMC dealership in that traditional location. Uh, there beside the old Kmart location in Moorhead, the, the Honda store a little bit farther out, you know, in the uh, auto row there. Um, Y'all have been at it for a long time. We have. So here this year we're celebrating 75 years of uh, doing business in the car business right here in Carteret County. 1947 was my granddad's first year. So we're, we're very proud of that. We're, uh, we're doing a little bit of bragging this year. And, uh, and we're also, we're, 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 you know, thankful to our customers and our community. It's a great place to to live and work and and, uh, and 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 serve the automotive needs of Carteret County. So we're we've got a long history, just like the Big Rock does, and uh, we're very proud of that. And this year is all about celebration for us. The car business nowadays, to follow up on your first question, is a little strange, <laughs> as everybody knows. You ride by not just us, but every lot is uh, is, a, is a little bit of a challenge uh, inventory wise. But we're working through that. And uh, it's just a little bit different, but the car business is pretty good. And so I tell you what, it's a great time to buy a car. Uh, if you're out there and you're kind of on the fence, it's a great time to buy a car, particularly, particularly if you have a nice trade in, which it's, uh, you know, in which case it's never been worth more money. So yeah, that's, premium, that's, that's premium, long answer. Yeah. Premiums on that, which, which is fine. Hey, look, you paid for it. You can sit here and talk just about as long as you want to. Um, the... Uh, Let's talk about inventory a little bit. I mean, I go by I go by your store at least twice a day, going to work and coming home from work. Um, seems like it changes quite a bit. Is uh, is the inventory flow picking up at all, Brian? Inven inventory is uh, is a challenge, but the the incoming units are pretty good. We've got a pretty good amount of stuff coming in. The the difference in now and and maybe a year or two ago is most of that stuff is is already spoken for. It's already it's already pre sold ahead of time, and so. It comes in on the truck, it leaves to, uh, to the paying customer that day or the next day, and it never makes it to the front line. And so you never get a chance to really to see what we've got coming in. So the, the whole process for our customers has changed a little bit in the fact that uh, they're having to get us involved much, much earlier in the process. So if, if they know they want a truck or a car or an SUV, they really need to be speaking to us you know, a couple months out, uh, especially for a brand new one in case we need to order that vehicle. Um, but you know, it's not just us. It's it's a, the supply chain, which is what we're fighting, is is every industry out there. We just happen to be one of the most visible because our inventory is uh, is is bigger. It's a bigger item, and it's right there on the highway for everybody to see. But it's it's kind of the new normal. And uh, like I said, business is good, and we're and. As long as our customers get us involved early, we can take care of them and get you them whatever they want. So, now, uh, for those of you who are down here, or again, if you feel like you want to come down and talk to Brian or Lindsay, uh, got some product here right at Big Rock Landing, but they're also giving away uh, free ice cold bottles of water. Boy, it tastes really good. He pick you up a little koozie too to commemorate their 75th anniversary and register for a Yeti cooler. 
We've got coolers and they've got daily giveaways for some of our uh, our top notch local restaurants here every day that they're giving away. So, yeah, come see us. Come yeah, sit in, and there you go. Absolutely, come down here and, and talk to Brian and uh, and Lindsay uh, at any point in time. Uh, fine, fine local family, uh, well staffed here. Uh, at Big Rock Landing, got some great product for you, see. So, Brian, it's always a pleasure. Thank you again for uh, for your sponsorship with the Big Rock tournaments, and uh, we appreciate, of course, your time here yes, sir. Thank you, this Tommy. afternoon. Very good. Thank you, Brian. Yep. All right, well, stay with us here. We've got uh, more special guests. Carly Sharp will be with you here in just a second with another one of our special guests. Never can tell who's going to show up here at Big Rock Landing, can you? Miss Teen, North Carolina. How about it? All right, so stay with us here. Uh, more to come. Uh, we'll give you an update on uh, – we've, we've got a few inside tips here we're going to pass along on uh, some of the boats maybe. And uh, looking forward to a little excitement here uh, as day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament rolls on here at Big Rock Landing. Stay with us.
what got you interested in being here. All right, hey guys, it's Carly. I am joined here by Miss Ellie Osborne, Miss Teen, North Carolina. Welcome to Big Rock Landing, Ellie. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for coming out to see us and be a part of this record-breaking tournament. We are so excited to have you here as well as your family. And tell us a little bit about your title. So I am your Miss Teen North Carolina, North America, and I will be representing North Carolina a month from now in Orlando, Florida to compete for the title of Miss Teen North America. Wow, that's pretty impressive. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 19 years old. That's quite the accomplishment. Are you Thank in you. college right now? I am. I am actually in the Honors College at Meredith, and I'm on the tennis team there. Gotcha. What are you studying? Right now, I am majoring in psychology with minors in child development and business. I hope to be a pediatric speech pathologist. Wow, that's such a great career. It really is. So what got you involved in the pageant system? So I actually got involved in pageants mostly because of community service. I recognize that by having this sash and my crown, it kind of gives me a microphone um, to advocate for my platform. Um, my platform is centered around educating youth and just giving back to my community and educating them on mental health topics in particular. And so um, one reason why I was so excited to come today was because of the Big Rock Foundation and how they support the Salvation Army as well as the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm the Big Rock Kids Tournament Director and one of our primary charities is the Boys and Girls Club of Coastal Carolina. So we are really excited to see someone fresh faced and young and eager to get involved and give back and advocate <laughs> for the youth over there. So thank you so much for being involved with that. What's one of your favorite favorite activities that you've done as Miss North Carolina, Miss Teen North Carolina? I think my favorite activity that I have done so far is I'm actually about to start volunteering again with a Horizons program back at home. I've been volunteering with them for about five years now. Horizons is an over the summer educational program for youth from under-resourced communities and we also provide them with experiences such as swimming lessons at ECU as well as just different field trips um, such as going to the Simple, simple Natural Creamery. Wow, that's, that's pretty Natural awesome. Creamery. Yeah, that, that place is delicious. It's one of it. my top spots in town for sure. I love that's going awesome. there with them. Very cool. So is that a local organization to Greenville or? It's, um, it's actually a national organization, but I grew up in going to the Oakwood School in Greenville, North Carolina, and we are one of two chapters um, of Horizons. The other one is located in Asheville, North Carolina. Very cool. So I've got to ask, being from Eastern North Carolina, have you ever made it down to Big Rock Landing before? I have. I was actually here last year um, for one of the late night weigh-ins. It was my first weigh-in and it was the one where Cole and the widespread came in and won the tournament. Yeah, that was an iconic weigh-in. <laughs> we were just talking earlier today about how much we love the late night weigh-ins here at Big Rock Landing. It's so exciting, the anticipation of having a boat still hooked up after fishing hours and just waiting to hear, are they going to release it? Are they going to boat it? What's going to happen? And all the crowd coming out too late at night. It's so exciting. It's, it's so wonderful. So thank you so much, Miss yes, Ellie, for being here and being a part of the Big Rock Tournament. Be sure to keep an eye out for Ellie as she competes next month in Orlando, Florida for her national title. So thank you, Ellie. Thank you so much for having me.
All right, well, welcome back here, uh, everybody, to uh, Big Rock Landing, our, our little dockside studio. Uh, pleased to be joined by Mr. Gordon Jethro from First Citizens Bank. And uh, First Citizens Bank is a longtime sponsor here of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. And, you know, we just can't have the tournament without our sponsor. So, Gordon, thanks to you and all the folks at First Citizens for jumping in again this year. Uh, tell us about tell us about the bank, you know, overall, and particularly the bank here in uh, in Moorhead City. I know you've got several locations here. Well, thank you, Tommy, and we are very excited to be back and be sponsoring again. We we think the world of what the Big Rock does, and really love the fact that most of the money stays right here in Carteret County, and what doesn't stay in Carteret County stays in Eastern North Carolina, and and we think that's a that that's a wonderful thing. But uh, First Citizens has been serving. Uh, Carteret County in eastern North Carolina for, for a number of years. We have five offices here locally. Uh, we're a nationwide bank, but we are continue to be very focused on eastern North Carolina with our resources and our people and uh, are very proud to, proud to be here and proud to be a sponsor of and involved with the Big Rock. Yeah, and of course, we're, we're glad to have you. I know, uh, who are some of you folks here in Moorhead? I know uh, if, if somebody's here and interested in talking to the bank, I know Eric Gregson is Eric, over in yep. uh, in Moorhead City. Um, Eric Gregson, he's our he's our uh, he's the business banker, I guess, for uh, for Carter County, if he, I'm not mistaken. Is. Eric's kind of a market leader and and does all of our business and commercial banking here. Cindy Brown uh, is our uh, our branch manager here. Michael Marks over in Beaufort. Uh, and so we've uh, we have like I say five offices here in, in Carteret County and and a great market for you us. Can, you and can be found. Love being uh, First involved. citizens can be found everywhere in Carteret County. That's no for doubt. Sure. No doubt. Um, but Carteret County, uh, Gordon, is not is just a part of your territory. What what are uh, other territory or areas do you serve? Um, kind of from Elizabeth City down past Jacksonville. So. Uh, you know, uh, cover about 12 counties in eastern North Carolina, so a lot of windshield time, but but yeah. but uh, but in, enjoy getting around and uh, getting around to all of our markets. And and I was born and raised in eastern North Carolina, so it's uh, very important to me to to, to for where the bank supports eastern sure. North Carolina and to see it grow. So. Sure. So what what's new at the bank? I know uh, there's been a, an acquisition recently. Equipment lending, I think, is well, that the, is am I right here? Is that a the, big deal? Earlier this year, the bank acquired CIT Group, uh, which makes us over a hundred billion dollar bank, one of the top twenty banks in the country, and so um, makes us a nationwide bank. But like I say, we're we're still very focused on eastern North Carolina, and and uh, um, but really just brings us additional resources to be able to assist our customers uh, in, in all that they do to, to grow their, their businesses as well as their, their personal banking. Sure, sure. Um, anything else new at the bank, you, you know, well, other than interest rates going up? Can, can somebody <laughs> well, come up here and, like, you give them a card and they get a, a discount on their car loan or something, Gordon? Well, you know, <laughs> unfortunately, obviously, there's a lot going on in the economy right now in the market, and Fed's doing their best to try to keep inflation uh, under control. But uh, but interest rates are, are going up. But, but certainly, uh, we find that historically, interest rates are still at, a, at an attractive level. We've all gotten so used to to uh, historically low interest rates uh, in recent years, um, but um, but we we you know the economy is doing well. We think we're going to continue to have a, a good second half, and, and we'll kind of see what all that all that holds. Um, but it, it it's really going to be kind of tricky, I think. Yeah, for I know, the Fed. You know, those, those of us with hair the color of ours uh, right. remember when a six percent home loan was uh, was. Oh my gosh, that, that was, was cheap. That was a good deal. I that think was a good deal. I, I think Libby and I paid about eight percent for our first <laughs> one sure. thirty some years sure. ago. Sure, everybody's so been in uh, eight, nine, ten percent. So uh, that six percent, not so bad. Gordon, I know you've got uh, a couple of events to, uh, to handle tonight. I'm hoping to slide down and spend a few a few minutes with you and represent the tournament over there. But uh, thank you, of course, for uh, number one your time, but more but, importantly for. Uh, the uh, contribution from well, First Citizens Bank to the tournament. We're very appreciative. Well, our, our, our pleasure. Well, like I say, we, we're very proud to be 
be uh, be a part of the tournament and uh, be associated with it. And uh, y'all are doing great work, and uh, we we're happy to give our money. Y'all are y'all are doing the real work, and we so appreciate that. we appreciate everything y'all do, and and very excited to be involved with gotcha. you. Thank you again, Gordon Jethro, everybody from First Citizens Bank. Thank you so much, Gordon. You, All right, stay tuned. More to come here. Uh, I know Carly's got a uh, Carly's got a great special guest coming up. We're going to talk about the Big Rock Kids Tournament coming up in July, and we've got the Big Rock Kids artist joining us. So stay with us uh, and get a little update here for all the folks hanging around uh, waiting to see some action here too. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes. Hang in there with us. Bye-bye. Well, here we go again. A very nice pair of dolphin 
making its way up uh, to uh, Big Rock Landing off of another beautiful regulator center console here. We want to check the leaderboard. 14.9 pounds today in second place on the Geek Box IT. And uh, in first place right now, keeping it real with a 20.7. I'd say they might have something on their hands here. Let's get the name of this boat real quick. This is uh, one of the Carolina girls in the tournament. This is a 24.4 pound dolphin, easily bumping the keeping it real out of first place. Looking good here. You know, these center consoles can really get it done. Come on, Tommy Glasgow. Come on over here. <clears throat> Who's that sorry crewmate you got? Come on, Scott. Come on. Somebody come over here and talk to me for just a second. Scott Lewis, everybody. One of our uh, crew members here on the Carolina Girl. Scott, tell us about your day. It was a heck of a lot nicer than yesterday, let me tell you that. <laughs> we, we lined in at 1130 yesterday and took three hours to get home, so that's today was much much more enjoyable and obviously with the dolphin we caught we actually saw a big blue hit and spooled the reel so it was a good day good fish story too uh you're, you're in the lead right now that first one 24.4 pounds uh puts you in the lead for uh for that for a daily and i think uh we're gonna get a wait here on the second one uh Weather today, uh, sea conditions not too bad. Did y'all get involved in that lightning storm here? Yeah, we, we were about two miles from it, and three bolts come down at one time, and that makes you a little pucker up. But <laughs> <laughs> look, we were out there last Saturday and saw full water spouts where we were fishing, and um, this was much more difficult to look at. So, <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time, Scott. Let's get to wait on this second fish. We're over here talking too much. All right, 21.1 pounds. Captain Tommy Glasgow here making a very nice appearance at Big Rock Landing, taking the lead there uh, with that 24-pound dolphin. Again, a couple thousand bucks for first place in the, uh, in the daily dolphin prize or daily dolphin category. A thousand uh, dollars for second place, and again the uh, the leader right now in that winner take all dolphin twenty nine and a half pounds worth right now five hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars. So, Tommy, don't you want to get in here and get some pictures? Sure, you do. Commemorate your visit to Big Rock Landing. Okay, just, just as I thought, there's a lot going on up here. The uh, Carolina girl has decked two very nice dolphins, taking for the moment first and second place in the daily division. Captain Tommy Glasgow here. Tommy is a great friend of the Big Rock Tournament. basically helped design and build uh, the Big Rock office where the store is over here where you need to stop and pay a visit and buy a t-shirt and help our local charities. So good job, Tommy Glasgow. Congratulations to you.
Yes, sir. Great, great day fishing there, uh, Captain Tommy Glasgow and crew on the Carolina Girl. 24.4 pound dolphin and a uh, just about a matching book in there, 21.1 pound dolphin. Okay, guys, breaking news here at Big Rock Landing. Uh, the Breakwater, right? Breakwater has boated a blue marlin. Yeah. So there'll be uh, some added excitement here at Big Rock Landing. We will check their ETA, let them get cleaned up a little bit, and get underway and head to, uh, to Big Rock Landing. Of course, uh, just a check of the rules the uh, any game fish needs to be here by seven o'clock so the game fish scales close at seven o'clock uh, but any blue marlins that come to the scales that are caught today we will be here as long as it takes to weigh them in might take a break for dinner if they uh if they run too long because i do need to be fed but otherwise we'll be with you here the whole crew here at big rock landing uh to weigh in a fish a blue marlin off of the breakwater. And we still got two boats hooked up. More to come from them. Uh, we'll pass it along as we know it. Stay with us. All right, guys, we are here today with a very special junior angler and junior artist. This is Allie Rottlesberger. She is the official Big Rock Kids tournament artist for our second annual tournament coming this July. Allie, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Allie. Oh, let's see here. Oh. There you go. We should be good now. I'm Allie. Let's see. There you go. You gotta hold it close. Okay. I'm Allie Rodelsberger. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I'm 15 years old. We are so excited and proud of Allie for being our official tournament artist this year. For the first time ever, we partnered with the Arts Council of Carteret County to host a pretty much nationwide art contest. And Allie and her sister both submitted pieces and we are so proud of her for being the youngest artist ever featured on a Big Rock 
t-shirt. So congratulations, Allie. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Awesome. We're happy to have you. Let's give it up for Allie. And these shirts are definitely going to be in the Big Rock store this afternoon and online, too. Again, all proceeds from the sale of this shirt benefit the Big Rock Kids charities, primarily the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Coastal Plains. And Allie, tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind your piece. Well, I wanted it to have um, the map on it and the, for you. And the marlin. Um, and then I wanted to have uh, the map look like sargasm weed. And so. Yeah, it looks great. Everything turned out awesome. So Allie has actually fished before. Why don't you tell us what you've caught? Um, I have not actually fished the Big Rock tournament, but I have fished in Charleston, South Carolina. I have caught white marlin, sailfish, uh, mahi, and wahoo. And one day you're going to catch a big blue marlin like the one on the shirt, too. I really hope so. Absolutely. And another fun fact is Allie's dad is currently hooked up on the Miss Y. So he's out there. He's been hooked up since what time? Um, about three hours ago. Yeah, so it's been a while. He is still fighting that fish. The crew on the Miss Y is. So we're rooting for them. We're rooting for Allie's family. All of them are here with us today at Big Rock Landing. So thank you guys for making the trip up from Charleston and for being with us. Thank you for having me. Again, that's Allie from Charleston, South Carolina, the official second annual Big Rock Kids Tournament artist. All right, guys, so we are here with NCBD Diesel. The angler, Philip Bennett, is weighing in a 13.4 pound dolphin. It's not enough to make the leaderboard for the day, but it's still a nice fish. All right, guys, as they take those photos, we do have a nice dolphin coming in on the chase boat. So 
Looks like it could be a new uh, leader in today's lineup. Probably, maybe not quite enough to take the Dolphin winner take all sponsored by Parker Boats. That purse of $527,000, but we'll just have to stay tuned. All right, guys, and we have the offshore three backing in right now. Not sure what they have to weigh in with us. Maybe a Wahoo, maybe another Dolphin. Don't think that any tuna will break what we had weighed in yesterday, 131 pounder. That's going to be a tough one to beat, but we'll see. Y'all, this just in, the Rodelsberger family that was just here, the Big Rock Kids artist, that family has boated at Blue, Mo Blue Marlin, and they will be in soon. Stand by for an ETA on that boat. But we do have two Blue Marlin coming to the scales tonight. So y'all get out here, be a part of the action. Looks like it's going to be another late night at the landing. All right, guys, the offshore three just weighed in a 23.3 pound dolphin. Still not going to be enough for first place for the day, but I believe that does steal second. All right, y'all, so again, we pay out $2,000 for the first place game fish and $1,000 for the second place game fish, which the offshore outlaws or offshore threes, 23.3 pound dolphin just took. So they'll be taking home $1,000 if this stays.
All right, y'all, there goes the offshore three, the local Moorhead City boat. Again, they are currently in second place for the day with a $1,000 fish weighing in at 23.3 pounds. All right, y'all, again, we have two blue marlin on the way from Breakwater and, of course, Miss Y. We're still waiting on an ETA from them, but as soon as we know it, we'll pass it along to y'all here at Big Rock Landing and online, so hopefully you guys can make your way down to the scales. We do still have the Due South, the local charter boat, hooked up, so let's stay tuned and see if they bring one, too. All right, guys, right now we have the 60-foot Hatteras Memories backing in here to Big Rock Landing. Hatteras yachts are built right here in North Carolina, down in New Bern, just down the road. So thank you guys for supporting local. Okay, very nice dolphin here on board the memories. Let's check that leaderboard. Big dolphin is 29 and a half pounds. First place we've seen so far today, 24.4. This one's got a chance. I think it's got to gotta be a contender for the dolphin winner take all prize. Yes, ma'am. All right, 32.2 pounds. How about it? $527,000 available for the winner take all dolphin. Bumping out our friends on the J&B who've been there for two or three days, I guess it seems like. So here you go. Here is your new leader in the dolphin category. 32.2 pounds on the memories. Ken Sandy, our angler, Barry Moore, our captain.
not only will these guys win the $527,000 if this fish stays in first place, but today if this fish remains in first place for the day, they'll win an additional $2,000. Carly, I, I don't know if you've announced this, and I had to step out and go take and do a little sponsor uh, appearance down the waterfront here, but it looks like we've got two blue marlins uh, coming to the scales here today. Uh, the Breakwater and the Miss Y have both boated blue marlins, uh, so we will definitely have some excitement here as the evening unfolds on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Yep, absolutely. And we still have due south hooked up, so we could see three Blue Marlin tonight. All right, guys, we've got It's Complicated back at the scales today with a 16.7 pound dolphin caught by Nathan Daughtry. Hey, Nathan, before you go, I want to talk to you real quick. So you guys are fishing on a 24-foot center console. Did you guys come in early, or did y'all change up with the storm? We um, we actually bared it out and um, stayed out there and stuck with it, and then as soon as the clouds rolled out, the bite kicked on. And, so. and there you have it. You got dinner for tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so let's hear it for the memories here out of Atlantic Beach. Taking the lead with a very nice 32.2 pound dolphin. Leading that winner take all dolphin category here on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. You know that 29 and a half pounder held up for several days. Who knows what's gonna happen here? Checking that leaderboard, the Carolina girl, that 24.4 pound dolphin we saw a little earlier this afternoon is now bumped into second place in that daily uh, division. And again, the, uh, the news here is we have two blue marlin coming to the scales. Let's check the weights on that just so you'll know. Third place is 536.8 pounds on the high yield. The wall hanger in second right now, 556.4. And the Mercenaria, uh, the first fish weighed in this year, coming in 572.6 pounds. So those are the numbers to keep in mind uh, as the Breakwater and the Ms. Y head to the scales here on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
All right, one more quick update here. Uh, the Due South, the charter boat from the Moorhead City waterfront that's been hooked up since about 1.30 has just called in a release of a bluefin tuna. How about that? So uh, that'll take care of all of our boats fishing today. Of course, lines were out of the water at 3 o'clock, Carly. Uh, the, the last boat there due south hooked up at 1.30 or so. Um, big bluefin tuna in this case. So uh, That's such an odd time of year to kind of catch a bluefin. A little That's unusual this normal, time of the year, but it obviously uh, lets you know that it can happen. So, uh, so two blue marlins coming to the scales today. As soon as we have an ETA, we'll pass them along to you. And, of course, uh, I think the other news is we do, we're, we're quite confident that there is another uh, big dolphin coming to the scales, uh, coming down from Hatteras. And uh, so we know about that one. We feel like there'll be plenty of excitement here as, uh, as the clock rolls on towards that 7 o'clock hour for game fish. Uh, time check here about 5.15 or so. And... Uh, Looks like maybe the Sea Fix is going to pay us a visit. Obviously, a great day of fishing on the Sea Fix. Uh, you see the uh, the white flags with the blue marlins on them, turned upside down on their outrigger, signifying a blue marlin release. So two blue marlin releases here on the Sea Fix, uh, joining us from the Charleston area in South Carolina. And it looks like they've got a dolphin to weigh in here. Let's check that again. Carly says 24.4 pounds again on the Carolina girl is the uh, second place dolphin for the day. And of course, you just saw the memories out of Atlantic Beach deck a 32.2 pound dolphin to take the daily lead and of course, make themselves a contender in the overall Winner take all dolphin, $527,000 again as a reminder in that category, winner take all dolphin. So another beautiful boat here at, uh, at Big Rock Landing. I tell you, to me, seeing the boats, uh, this is a 61 Richie Howe. Seeing the boats come in here is uh, just about as thrilling as watching the fish get weighed. Beautiful works of art, uh, some of these boats are. Tommy, earlier we mentioned the uh, Hatteras yacht that backed in earlier was built right down the road in New Bern, and we also have Jarrett Bay's built right down the road in Beaufort. So it's really cool to see the custom Carolina boats uh, being brought to the scales today. All right, 28.1 pound dolphin bumps our uh, friend uh, Captain Tommy Glasgow out of second place. Very nicely done here on the Sea Fix. Obviously, a, a great day of fishing. These guys were busy all day long. Uh, Rob Johnson, our angler here. John Thomas, our captain. Two blue marlin releases. See, Carly, we can check that release leaderboard here, too. I think I... You got it up there. They're in seventh overall. Yeah. You know, while we're talking about releases uh, with the Sea Fix here with uh, two Blue Marlin releases today, they're in the top 10 in their release category uh, behind the Wave Paver, uh, that brand new, beautiful 75 foot bayless boat. Caught four Blue Marlins on day one. Uh, the following seas and Safari both had big days today scoring 1,325 points to be in second and third place in that weekly 
uh, release division. And in the non-sonar division, uh, you saw yesterday the Desperado uh, charter boat from up, uh, up the beach there. Weighed in that nice yellowfin tuna. Had a nice day fishing today to uh, secure a second place finish as of the end of fishing today. And the Irene, a 62-foot Viking, has had a great week um, catching and releasing. Now, let's see here. Get my phone to come back on. Yep, and we've got the Bragging Rights here with angler John Hinton weighing in a 22.5-pound dolphin. Again, not enough for second place, but still a great catch and good dinner. Yeah, and so just to finish up that release report, the Irene with uh, three Blue Marlin releases scoring 1,200 points, taking the lead in their release division for the week. All right, so congratulations to the Sea Fix. Number one on a great day of fishing. Two blue marlins, yeah, let them hear about it. And a 28.1 pound dolphin as they depart Big Rock Landing today. All right, we're going to get another treat here. Looks like we got a yellowfin tuna making its way to the scales. Don't think it's going to beat that 131 pounder we saw yeah, yesterday. Yeah, I think we'll go out on a limb and say that that's not going to take the lead, <laughs> but we, we don't see too many yellowfin tunas here. And if you uh, take a look right here, right out of Big Rock Landing, you see the Pelagic Hunter 2 going by. Our winner in that center console boat about three years ago beat the rest of the fleet Definitely and the walked underdog. out of here as the champion of uh, the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament on a outboard-powered center console. Had a nice day fishing today and uh, leading the outboard division and the winner-take-all outboard division worth about $42,000 to them if that holds up here through the end of the week. All right, so here's our tuna fish, 19 and a half pounds on the Catherine Grace. We've seen them make an appearance here. Jules Williams, our angler, Scott Williams, our captain. 
And Tommy, that's going to be the second place tuna. You got it. You got it. And a first place daily at the moment, 2000 bucks for that as a reminder. And awfully good eating, too. It looks like we got a couple of Wahoos here. Here's your new Wahoo leader for the day, it looks like. 21.3 pounds. Again, on the Catherine Grace, Jackson Wilder, our angler. Of course, Scott Williams, our captain here. They had a nice, a nice day fishing for sure. Yeah, we saw a 15.7 pound Wahoo a little earlier on that really nice uh, outboard powered Cobia boat. And this one is 14.9. At least our friends from the Wasting Time will hang around there in second place for the day at the moment. Seen a lot of Wahoo this week. All right, here you go, that 14.9 pound Wahoo on the Catherine Grace. Armistead Perry, our angler. Of course, Scott Williams, our captain. They've made several trips to Big Rock Landing this week. Good job, glad to see them back. Nice Wahoo there. And who knows, maybe they'll hold on and pick up some money, and they will certainly eat well tonight and tomorrow. That's for sure. So let's give a nice hand here to the crew of the Catherine Grace. Great day of fishing, absolutely. So let's have a little check on the ETAs for our two blue marlin. Looks like 7 o'clock and 7.45 this evening. So we'll have a close to prime time weigh in again on day four. And, of course, we will be with you here uh, as it happens. As a reminder, our game fish scales will close at 7 o'clock, so we've got another hour and a half for that. And we were, uh, you know, expect to be busy right up to 7 o'clock. We have been here for the last couple of days busy right up until about 6.45 or so. Again, we are aware of, uh, I think, the Marlin Mania with a very nice dolphin. They're coming down from Hatteras, going to make the trip. 
And speaking of Dolphin, here's another nice one. Right here off of the skip hook. 25.8 pound Dolphin. That'll sh not quite shake up our leaderboard. That's C-Fix there. Uh, secure for the moment, 28.1 pounds on that one. But a nice dolphin nonetheless. Dennis Massengill, our angler, Kelly Williamson, our captain. 25.8 pound dolphin on the skip hook. Do want to give a shout out here to uh, Les Collins and crew from Collins Inc. Collins boats there in Smithfield, providing us with the chase boat you see, outboard powered boat here right offshore of uh, Big Rock Landing. Go out and they'll pick up uh, our anglers and our fish from uh, from the boats and bring them up here to the scales. The rules stipulate that fish must be offloaded from the boat from which they were caught or from the tournament chase boat. So thanks to Les Collins and uh, Yamaha Outboards for, uh, for their participation each and every year and for providing us the uh, chase boat. It really makes things go a little bit easier and smoother here at the way station. All right, another dolphin here uh, making an appearance. Nice dolphin. Just check that weight, C-Fix, 28.1 pounds there in second place today for that daily prize. You saw it here just a few minutes ago. The Memories out of Atlantic Beach takes the lead in the winner-take-all dolphin category with that very nice 32.2 pound dolphin. And this is gonna be a 16 pound dolphin on the Make It Happen. There you go, the Make It Happen brought their fan club with them. There you go, how about it?
always tell who the mates is. All right, here you go on the Make It Happen, a 16-pound dolphin, our angler, Douglas Johnson, Captain Zachary Murray today. Very nice 16-pound dolphin. Where does fan club go? There you go. Lots of smiles all around. Beautiful afternoon here at Big Rock Landing. Looks like one of those uh, beautiful outboard powered center consoles here, or a Balo in this case. Another great looking boat. All right, here comes another very nice dolphin up the ramp, being delivered from the chase boat. And it looks like the Carolina time here is uh, rigging up to back into the slip here. See what they've got. Yeah. What's the scoop? They think they've got a big one. Dolphin? Yeah, dolphin. Okay, maybe another big dolphin here on the Carolina time. And just check that. That number, that big dolphin number is 32.2 pounds so far. All right. A lot of confidence over here. On the Carolina time, we're getting ready to see some excitement here. Yeah, just, just. Okay, another very nice dolphin at 29.3 pounds here. On the Labrador, angler Matt McKee, Captain Wade Fickling. Uh, Captain Wade, no stranger to uh, Big Rock Landing, a tournament winner. All around great guy. 29.3 is going to bump him there into uh, second place, I guess. Yeah. Talking about Captain Wade Fickling, he was the winning captain of Big Rock Kids last year. He released over seven sails in just two days of fishing. So Wade is a local legend, that's for sure. All right, well, let's welcome the Carolina time here to Big Rock Landing. Let's give them a big hand here. 
Got to like their style over there. Captain Jay Blunt sporting a new haircut. Getting rigged up here to, uh, to make an appearance at Big Rock Landing. I talked to Jay a couple of days ago. He said he'd be here. Man of his word, got a new haircut just for the occasion. Gotta like it. Good job, Captain Jay Blunt. Word is they got a nice dolphin for us. Yeah, put that, put that one back. You gotta love a crew with a sense of humor here. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about here. Now this is a dolphin, folks. Tommy, you wanna go ahead and guess the weight? No, I, I gave that up a long time ago, Carly. What I will tell you is that we got a new leader in the clubhouse. I do know that. Now, guys, remember here, there are $527,000 at stake, and your reaction here when we hear this rate is uh, needs to be commensurate with that much money. So uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, and our leading, we're looking to anything above 32.2. Definitely get that reaction. Hey, Mike, congrats. Now that is a full-grown dolphin right there, y'all. All right, this is a 54.1 pound dolphin. That's right, that's the excitement we're looking for here at Big Rock Landing. $527,000 if they hold on to How first about it? place. On the Carolina time, our angler, Parker Jones, Captain Jay Blunt electrifies the crowd here with a 54.1 pound dolphin. We got a lot of family members gonna wanna get in here and take a picture too. Bailey, did you get a story? Oh, yeah, they're, they're coming in. Bring all the kiddos. <laughs> hey, let's talk to Captain Jay Blunt here for a second. Jay Blunt, congratulations. Welcome to Big Rock Landing. It's good to be here. Good to be here always. Especially today, I would think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out there, Thomas. I mean, I told you this before. I grew up 10 blocks down the road, so it was always a dream to fish this tournament, much less come in here and participate at the scale. So, Well, and to throw down a 54.1-pound dolphin, you, you, you're shaking just a little bit. Well, yeah, you know, two, two days of shaking left, you know. But it's a lot of time left, but, you know, we're, we're happy to be here, and it's a good problem to have, I guess. Yeah. So tell us about uh, tell us about your day. Uh, any blue marlin encounters, and and about this fish here particularly. You know, we, we had a nice blue marlin come up yesterday. It was disappointing. We didn't really uh, get a chance to hook it, but he was he was fired up. But so we went out there today and just uh, put on Jimmy Buffett and decided we'd just see what happened. And uh, long and the short of it is, we uh, he piled in on a teaser, and the mates did what they're supposed to do, threw the pitch bait to it, and it was on. Hooked him on a. Little 30 TLD, it was a lot of fun. How about that? Well, perfect. Uh, little Jimmy Buffett on the tape machine, as the old song goes, uh, will help you out. Jay Blunt, congratulations to you. Guys, this is your new leader in the winner take all category $527,000. Uh, big statement here from the Carolina Time 54.1 pounds. Captain Jay Blunt and crew, Angler Parker Jones, uh, all the family in here.
I, I know Jay was fishing with his son. That was quite a uh, quite a trip for them to make, and uh, a lot of family here. Always nice to see them get together at Big Rock Landing. And here, here they come. And all of these kids you see right here, they are Big Rock kids. They've all released billfish before, and we're looking forward to having them here for the second annual Big Rock Kids Tournament this July. Look at that smile on the father-son duo. That's so precious. All right, guys, we just heard word that was an hour and 15 minute fight on a dink pole. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, let's talk to our angler here, Parker Jones. Parker, you can get him. You can get him back later. Don't don't worry about it. This is your moment. Congratulations to you, Parker. Um, an hour long on a TLD. Tell us about it. It took an hour and a half. Yeah, it was a while. But we just took it easy on him, and uh, yeah, finally came up. We get in gaff shot, and that was it. I guess you knew what you had all along here. I mean, you knew that this was a big dolphin from the get go, right? Yeah, we got a pretty good look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is this your biggest dolphin ever? It is. <laughs> yep, sure is. How Good many? Week for it, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, and how many trips have you made here to Big Rock Landing, too? Uh, we've made a couple, yeah. This one the most uh, exciting, I guess, thus far. Thus far, that's right. Good deal. Well, I hope it holds up for you. Uh, guys, Parker Jones here uh, with the uh, angle on the 54.1-pound dolphin on the Carolina time. <laughs> Captain Jay Blunt and crew electrifies the crowd here on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. We'll uh, get our leaderboard together here and uh, get ready to bid uh, goodbye to the Carolina time as they head back to the Moorhead City Yacht Basin. Maybe a little celebration. Who knows what will happen, but that's, that's the kind of dolphin it takes folks to, uh, to score. Oh, absolutely. All right, guys, and just taking a look at the crew that they have on board, Olivia, one of the junior anglers, she placed top wahoo in the Big Rock Kids Tournament last year, so it's good to see a familiar face here at Big Rock Landing.
All right, here's a 17.2 pound dolphin on the Bella Linda 2. Tim Farr, our angler. John Clark, our captain. Of course, always great to make an appearance here at Big Rock Landing. As I like to say, have your pitch made. Trust me, that'll be on somebody's wall tomorrow, that pitcher will. Okay, well, folks, let's uh, let's show some Big Rock love here to the crew of the Carolina Time. You can do better than that. Five hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars worth. A dolphin here, fifty-four point one pounds, uh, dramatically taking the lead in the big dolphin category. Good job, Captain Jay Blunt. All right, let's hear it one more time for the Carolina time as they take off here. Really showing them how it needs to be done in the dolphin category. All right, so it looks like we're seeing Abby Jones again, the captain, mate, lady angler all in one. She's backing in right now on her boat, the off season. Dogs today though. Yeah, I was gonna say, you'll remember uh, Abby and the crew of the off season uh, with the three Irish wolfhounds that were fishing with them earlier in the week. And you can see Abby herself right now tossing the dock lines to our way station crew. That is one bad woman. <laughs> All the ladies look so good in their hot pink KWLA shirts, too. Carly, I think the question here is, is it going to be huge? That was a good one, Tommy.
There is Miss Abby herself getting the fish out of the box. Let's see it. What you got for us? Another dolphin. Right here, let's just check that second place number. 32.2 pounds is what we need to move into second place for the day. All right, Abby, give us the scoop. What's the story behind this catch? Okay, so this boy, his dad, they drove in last night from Maryland at like two in the morning, his first time offshore and we got a, a pretty nice mahi for him. Absolutely, he'll be hooked for life after catching oh, that. He loved it, he loved it, yeah. That's awesome. Well, Abby, thank you so much for bringing him with you today. First experience offshore, you never forget your first time yeah. going offshore. And to wait in a fish at Big Rock Landing at his first day first offshore, time. that's just, that's incredible. Yeah, we're so excited. We're so, I've always won, I'm really praying for the junior award because every year that's what I wanted was to, was for the boat to win the junior award. Well, that's awesome. It's so important to pass along that tradition and get kids hooked on fishing while they're, right. while they're still young. Hooked on fishing. See what I did there. Big rock. Big rock. Big rock. See what I did there? See, yeah, I get you, I get you. <laughs> well, Abby, great to see you again back here at Big Rock Landing. Hopefully, we'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow, you gotta have room for the big fish. Oh yeah, I think we can clear out some space. <laughs> All right, as Carly said, we got a, excuse me, we got our junior angler here. Always great to see uh, the young people show up at Big Rock Landing. Thanks to Cap Mabby for giving him a shot here today. First trip offshore, as Carly says, and he remembers it with a uh, fish weighing in at Big Rock Landing. What a what a thrill! Got to be. Wow, let's see here. Did these All right, now here we got some more junior anglers, I believe. These kids come from the sales pitch, a boat based out of Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. There are no strangers to the scales, though. All right, 21 pounds right on the money, 21.0 pounds. That's an impressive catch for a six and eight year old. Let's see here, yeah. Our junior angler, Braxton Collins. There you go. Brian Dressler, our captain. And Braxton is no stranger to the scales. He's weighed in plenty of dolphin before here at Big Rock Landing. Yeah, he, he knows exactly what to do. Him and his brother Easton were the poster children for Big Rock Kids last year, so we're really excited to see them back here. Yeah, the Big Rock's a family affair if it's nothing else. Great to see uh, dads fishing with, uh, moms and dads fishing with their children, absolutely. Grandpa fishing, okay. Grandpa, you look good over there for an old man. Braxton is eight years old. Call it, go over there and see if you can't get a hold of Braxton yeah, for just Braxton. a second. All right, Braxton, tell us about your day. It has been really good and I don't know. Hey, that's awesome. That's all it has to be is really good. You caught a nice fish. This isn't the first fish you weighed here at Big Rock Landing, is it? Not the first one. No, not the first one. Is it the biggest one? 
No. Nope. <laughs> yes, it has. No, it's not. No, it's not. What's the biggest one, Mom? I don't remember. Oh, either way, no stranger to the scales. And Braxton, you've released plenty of sales fi sailfish and other marlin, right? Yes. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught? Released a sailfish. I released a sailfish. 413 pounds. 413 pounds. What? 413. 413 pound mar marlin. I think. Wow, Braxton, that's quite the accomplishment for eight years old. Can you guys believe that? Braxton himself has caught a 413 pound blue marlin. That's a great day offshore. Yeah, well, let's hear it for the crew of the sales pitch here. And of course, uh, great to see our junior anglers, the future of our sport. Maybe a future Big Rock winner right there. Okay, and again, just a time check here. It's six o'clock, roughly. The uh, game fish scales will be open until seven o'clock. And of course, we're awaiting the arrival of uh, two blue marlins here to the scales at Big Rock Landing, maybe 7 and 7.45 or so. So we'll be on the uh, lookout for them. Any updates we have to pass along, we'd be glad to do it. And those of you joining us at home on Big Rock TV, stay with us. Keep us on, and we'll, uh, we'll be with you here through the end of the weigh-ins today regardless of how long it is. So stay, stay with us here. Enjoy a beautiful afternoon uh, with us on the Moorhead City waterfront if you're here in person. Lots to do here. Uh, certainly restaurants are open, great places to eat here on the waterfront. All of our sponsors are here. Of course, I'm right beside the Jarrett Bay tent. Uh, those gals have been awful busy, as we've said. Pay a visit to the Big Rock store right across the street. Pick up a T-shirt or a hat. Lots of lots of really nice things in there, actually. And of course, all of those profits from sales go to our local charities. One million dollars given away last year by the tournament in one fell swoop. One of the largest donations or the largest donation ever from the Big Rock tournament. And uh, certainly a one of the largest donations ever given here in Carter County. So. Uh, all your support there over at the Big Rock store helps uh, helps that immensely. And uh, so go, go over there and pay them a visit. They'd love to see you. Yeah, but I'm going to brag on Tommy for a minute. Not only is he the face of Big Rock TV, but he is the chairman of our charity committee. So every year he reviews applications from local organizations and he picks and does the hard work to reward that money to those organizations. So Tommy, thank you so much for all that you do, not only for us here for Big Rock TV, but for the community. Tommy, looks like we've got a Wahoo on the way. All right, let's check that Wahoo leaderboard here. Uh, looks like the wasting time is in second place for the day at 15.7. And you saw just a few minutes ago the Catherine Grace with a 21.3. I think this one might do it. Make sure the app is updated here. Looks like it, 21.3 on the Catherine Grace, that daily lead. Of course, we saw it earlier this week on the Speculator, a 104.7 pound Wahoo. All right, this is a 25.5 pound Wahoo, bumping uh, the wasting time out of the money here today and moving the Catherine Grace down into that second place $1,000 daily prize. This is on the Developing Habits, 25 and a half pounds. George Ricks, our angler. Jordan Finch, our captain. Nice smile there. 
Yeah, might, might pick up a couple thousand bucks here. Yep, and the Developing Habits released a Blue Marlin today. And it's a 53-foot Jarrett Bay, a beautiful boat. I've been on it myself. It's awesome. Captain and angler are both awesome, incredible people with a nice catch. Potentially worth $2,000. Well, Carly, it's not going to last long. Look there. Yeah, here you go. Get a good look. Hey. Now look, whatever you do, do not touch the mouth of this thing. It will cut you wide open. A lot of teeth in there, and they can do a lot of serious damage. That's one of those look but don't touch things right there. And that is your leader for the day, but unfortunately it's not gonna last too long because this is a Wahoo. All right, here's your new leader, 45.4 pound Wahoo. Let's see what we got here. A very nice, very nice Wahoo caught on the dock fees. There you go. Warren Smith, our angler. Taylor Pleasant, our captain. Smiles all around. 45.4 pound Wahoo, taking over the lead here in that daily division. Uh, not quite gonna bump the Lady Diane out of second place for the week. That second place fish, 54.8 pounds. Whoa, off the same boat. That first one, as they say, is a Wah it looks like a Wahoo, only smaller. So, George, they're just playing with us. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Seen a lot of Wahoo this week. That is another full-grown Wahoo just right. All right, this one is 48.7 pounds, so they will take over first and second place here uh, for the daily. Not quite going to bump the Lady Diane, though, out of second place for the week at 54.8 pounds. Ben Wright here, our anger on that one. At least he's got bragging rights on the boat today. There you go. Taylor Pleasant, of course, our captain. Get the family in there. And, Tommy, look who I found in the crowd. We've got hey, hey. Big Rock TV star Karis McIntyre. You McIntyre. got it. You got it. Go ahead and tell us what you're up to this week. You're not fishing this week. No, we always vacation here when the boys are doing Big Rock. So tell us about your experience last year during the Lady Angler Tournament. It was really fun, honestly. Um, it was just fun being out there with all the ladies. Yeah, and didn't you have an impressive catch last year? Yep. She won our junior angler division. Karis also co-hosted Big Rock TV with Tommy, so now I have to take her place, and I miss you. I wish you would come back. I mean, I always can come back. Stay with us then all afternoon. And, and she's welcome <laughs> anytime, no question about it. Captivated us during the, uh, during the Big Rock events last year. Great young gal, our lady angler champion, I mean, our junior champion last year. Great contributor to Big Rock TV. She's welcome up here anytime. All right, Karis, tell us how you feel. Doc Fees just took the leaderboard in the daily Wahoo division. I'm honestly really excited because we've been waiting all day to hear that they got hooked up. And when they did, we were just really excited and hoped that it didn't, like, get off. 
Absolutely. And $2,000, that's not a bad payday at all. Not really. <laughs> well, thank you guys for, oh, what did you say? It'll pay for gas. You got that right, buddy. You got that right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming out to support your family. And of course, again, for being an awesome junior angler and awesome ju junior anglers in general. Thank you guys. You got to teach them early. Isn't that right, Carly? Great family affair there on the dock fees. Longtime friends and participants of the Big Rock Tournament. Glad to see them back here at Big Rock Landing, of course. Okay, while well, we've got a little break in the action here, I've uh, just checked the uh, Big Rock app again. Uh, I encourage you to download it if you want to know anything and everything about the Big Rock Tournament. It's there. Uh, news is we expect to see the Miss Y arrive at 7 p.m. So uh, if you're here in support of the Miss Y, you're going to be up first and uh, followed by the Breakwater at about 7.30. So we'll be, uh, we'll be really busy if uh, everybody's on time, Carly, for about an hour or so, it ought to be very exciting. I know, and I'm so excited again. We'll have the family from the artists of the Big Rock Kids Tournament t-shirt. That's on Miss Y, so we're really excited to have them here bringing in a blue marlin. They came up all the way from Charleston, South Carolina, so looking forward to having that family moment right here at Big Rock Landing. All right, so stay here with us. Enjoy yourselves uh, down here on the Moorhead City waterfront. Those of you at home, hey, take a little break for dinner and uh, – Game scales or game fish scales open until 7 o'clock. Of course, we'll be with you here uh, bringing you all the action live from day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Waiting on the Miss Y and the Breakwater, 7 and 7.30, hopefully. A lot of, uh, a lot of excitement here to come uh, on as day four uh, comes to an end on the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
All right, y'all, we got the Sally girl backing in here, 57 foot Scarborough. Don't know what they have to weigh off for us, but it's gonna be some type of game fish. All right, guys, we're getting another Wahoo here. Right now, the one to beat is looking at 45.4 pounds. All right, guys, so this one does have to beat dock fees. 48.7 pound Wahoo or the 45.4 pound Wahoo that dock fees just weighed. Quote from our way station lady. Ahem. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys, so it looks like the Sally Girls 46.3 Wahoo is going to slide into the second place in the daily division, earning them potentially $1,000. That's a good looking crew, all smiles for potentially winning $1,000 for the day. Are any of y'all Sally? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. It's a beautiful boat. It's an honor. Thanks, y'all.
All right, well, let's hear it for the crew of the Sally Girl here, 46.3-pound Wahoo. Scoring some points here, making a little noise. Uh, in the Wahoo division on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
Okay, let's welcome the overtime here to Big Rock Landing. Yeah, from Montauk. You see uh, the blue flags there in the outriggers. Uh, white Marlins on those. Two white Marlin releases today on the overtime. Beautiful Viking boat here. Came all the way down from the great state of New York to be with us. Who here is from New York? There you go. You probably know these guys, right? Sure. Nobody lives there anymore. They all they all moved down here last two years. Montauk, a great uh, maritime fishing heritage up there, and they know how to catch their tuna fish. That is going to be your second place tuna right there. You can count on it. Not going to bump the Desperado there at 131, but that is a very nice yellowfin tuna. Okay, 51.8 pounds on the yellowfin tuna here on the overtime. Yes, sir, let them hear it. Long day, obviously. Rob Kilroy here, our angler. Kevin Gaylord, our captain. Angler's looking like fresh here. Looks good for having been on gone all day long. Boy's looking good. Get up here and have your picture taken. Obviously going to take the lead here as our uh, daily winner. Good for a couple thousand bucks. What is it that young man said at least help pay for the gas? <laughs> yeah, it, it get a little bit. <laughs> hey, but every bit helps one way or the other. A happy crew there. Yeah, get to make a trip here to Big Rock Landing. Beautiful boat. Good looking crew. Congratulations there to the overtime. Taking over the first place daily lead in the Yellowfin Tuna Division with a very nice 51.8 pound tuna. And of course they will eat very well for the next several days. Again, as, as uh, good a table fare as you want to find. Yeah, so just checking that leaderboard, we saw the uh, 19 and a half pound tuna earlier today on the Catherine Grace. Obviously, the Catherine Grace having a great tournament. Have visited us several times. You know, as the clock ticks time away here, going to that seven o'clock hour, approximately 20 minutes till seven, our game fish scales will be open until seven o'clock. Overtime takes the lead there in the tuna division. And in line for that $2,000 daily prize. Let's check that. And moving into second place here in the weekly division. Let's see, that pays, um, hmm. Yeah, that second place tuna is going to pay $3,000. So. Maybe about 4,000 bucks are looking at there. That might pay for gas for today.
All right, well, let's give the uh, crew of the overtime a nice hand here. Yeah, thank you. Looking at that second place tuna for the week, first place daily. Hopefully made their trip here to Big Rock Landing worthwhile. Congratulations to the crew of the overtime. Yes, sir. Center at NC State University, taking a look at stomach contents of game fish here. And uh, that tuna fish ate a, one of its favorite meals, a flying fish. So, uh, and it was obviously hungry. It only had one in his stomach, so it was time, time for him to eat again. So our friends over at NC State uh, do a great job for us, are here with us every year doing sampling of all of our uh, game fish. And we're very proud to uh, support them in their efforts from the Big Rock Tournament every year. And of course, uh, delighted with their support for us as well. So uh, that seven o'clock hour is coming up here, 15 minutes, 6.45. Last word we've got is that the Miss Y is on the way. And you'll probably hear a couple of whoops and hollers from to the east of us here as they come down Bulkhead Channel in Moorhead City on their way to the Big Rock Landing Scales. So stay with us. Be here shortly. And those of you at home, thanks for being with us. Stay tuned, and we'll bring you all the action here as it develops as day four comes to a conclusion in the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament.
Okay, just a quick update here. We've heard from the Miss Y, a 53-foot Scarborough is now in the no-wake zone, so they will be here shortly. Our angler is Robert Rodelsberger, has caught uh, and released one blue marlin today and turned right around, hooked up again, and landed that fish after a uh, quite a fight here on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Crew out of Charleston, South Carolina, apparently. Uh, they'll be here shortly, so, uh, so get ready to welcome the Miss Y here to Big Rock Landing. They'll be along here shortly.
All right, well, the Miss Y has arrived here at Big Rock Landing, Georgetown, South Carolina. One Blue Marlin released today and one in the cockpit. So let's welcome the Miss Y here to Big Rock Landing. Let him hear from you. While they're backing in, let's check the leaderboard here. 536.8 is the third place weight that you're looking for on the high yield, the wall hanger. 556.4. And the Mercenaria in the lead, of course, from day one, the winner of the level five fabulous fisherman's prize, 572.6 pounds. So that third place fish again, 536.8. Tommy, just from looking at it in the bag, it looks like a big fish. <laughs> She's looking really fat. All right, they got the fish in a in a bag, believe it or not. Anything to try to help it retain its weight, keep it cool. We'll go through the drill here. Our way station crew, Randy and George, hop on board here. Do a little paperwork. Get a couple of measurements here. And then we'll take a look at this very nice blue marlin here on the Miss Y. Just as a reminder, it's seven o'clock now also, so our game fish scales have closed. Yeah, right out there at seven o'clock. So our game fish scales are closed. Looks like uh, rumors of that big other big dolphin were just that. Maybe they saw that other nice one and turned around but nonetheless all of our attention now on the miss Y. Okay, guys, we're getting ready here. We need a little encouragement, too. There you go. You're going to see these, uh, these men pulling on this rope. Going to need a little encouragement here.
Can you just imagine how these guys on the Miss Y feel? You know, what, Carly, we're talking about $700,000 maybe potentially here. The levels of the tournament that they're in. All right, well, there's a good look at his tail. All right, here we go. Let's encourage our boys. Keep it coming. Here we go. A very nice blue marlin here on the Miss Y. Again, that number you're looking for in third place is 536.8 pounds to be in the money here. Keep them going, and we got a few more pulls to go here. Come on, boys. There we go. Good looking blue mall in there. We're taking bets over here, but I don't want to say any numbers yet. All right, 454.1 pounds on the Miss Y. Not quite going to crack that leaderboard of 536.8, but a lovely blue marlin here. Very nicely done on the crew of the Miss Y. All right, guys, Robert Rodelsperger is going to be the angler for this fish and the fish that was, was released on the Miss Y. He is actually the father of the Big Rock Kids Tournament artist, Miss Allie Rodelsperger. Okay, so here comes our official weight, 454.1 pounds on the Miss Y. As Carly said, Robert Rodelsberger, our angler captain, Matt Wilkinson. Anyway, you slice it, a great day of fishing. One blue marlin release. One gets weighed in here at Big Rock Landing. Not quite what they were hoping for, of course, but the catch great of day of lifetime. fishing. Yeah, let's get the rest of the crew up here. Come on, fellas. All right, guys, and Robert's family is here from Charleston, South Carolina. So we're really excited to have them at the scales with us this afternoon.
Yeah, we're going we're going to take a lot of pictures here. We we got plenty of time. And want to give uh, all of our family members a chance to get in here, have a great photo made, commemorate uh, this notable catch here. Very well done. There's our Rodelsberger family, our Big Rock Kids artist. Great tournament highlighting children, youth anglers here in July. Nothing but junior anglers. It's a, it's a great time. Check us out again. You want to come back here in July and see the, uh, see the kids from the Big Rock Kids Tournament visit Big Rock Landing. It's quite quite a uh, quite a spectacle. Go ahead, Carly, take it away. All right, guys, I'm joined here with Robert Rodelsberger, the angler for not only the fish that was just weighed in, but also another one that was released today. So, Robert, why don't you tell us about your fight? Um, on this fish, we uh, that fish came up. We were uh, not long after we got set back out, and uh, that fish came up, uh, missed our short rigger, ate our long rigger, um, put on a really nice show to start off, and then... Uh, dug down and was stubborn for a few hours yeah so how long did you guys end up finding her for you hooked up around 1 30 yeah and i guess i think it was around a three hour flight fight so wow that's pretty impressive and how long did you fight the one that you released about 35 minutes and how big do you think she was probably 250 pounds wow that's that's a pretty long time to be sitting in the chair and tugging on one of these bad boys and robert as the father of the big rock kids artist what do you have to say about Allie's accomplishment and all of your family's accomplishments man i was so proud of her when she got uh when she won that contest and um my wife told me that like two minutes after you finished the interview with her uh was when we announced that we had voted our blue so just really cool timing and uh it's awesome. So. Yeah, we're really excited to have you guys here and so glad that y'all were able to make it up all the way from Charleston, South Carolina. So thank you guys for being here and congratulations on a great catch. Thank you so much. Y'all put on a great tournament and we'll see you for the kids tournament too. Sounds like a plan. We'll see y'all in July. Yeah, of course, we've got a couple of days left too there, Carly, so we could see them back again tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, the competition will continue right on tomorrow, fishing again from nine to three. And, of course, uh, we'll wrap it up on Saturday, day six. Another nine to three fishing day on Saturday. I got it right this time. So uh, nine to three every day. And, of course, we'll be with you here on Big Rock TV to bring it to you. And certainly want to thank everybody in the crowd today for being here. We do have a little more excitement coming your way as we await the breakwater now. Uh, and there, yeah, there you go. Their fan club is here. This is a great crowd. I just walked over to the Big Rock store just a minute ago, and a great festival atmosphere here. There's lots of lots going on, lots to do, uh, lots of chances for you to part with a dollar or two, help our sponsors, and, of course, shopping in the Big Rock store, supporting all of our charities here, uh, the charitable work that the tournament and the Big Rock Foundation do every year here in Moorhead City in Carter County. So take advantage of the restaurants. Go see uh, the Michelob Ultra booth is over there giving away some free product yeah, i'll do better i'll do better parker i promise um beautiful albemarle boat over here of course Jarrett bay uh, our major sponsors got their booth open uh there's my friend janessa and johnny styron how about that good to see them right here at big rock landing two of my high school classmates great to see them here all right well, that'll do it for the Miss Y here. Firing them up. Going home, I'm certain, for a uh, well-deserved dinner after, uh, what, about three and a half hours of uh, Blue Marlin action today. I know Robert probably feels a little, uh, a little sore, but he's looking good here. Very nicely done. Great photos. Wonderful family, obviously, here as part of the Big Rock atmosphere. 454.1 pounds on the Miss Y today for angler Robert Rodelsberger. Can you get that same video? All right, now? let's hear it for the crew of the Miss Y as they take off here. Great job fishing today, fellas. Very well done. You got a couple more days, maybe we'll see you back here.
today our major sponsor to do a giveaway, but you've got to answer her trivia question correctly. The first person to answer correctly wins some goodies from Jarrett Bay Boatworks. How many Jarrett Bay boats are fishing in this year's Big Rock tournament? Who can tell me? I saw that. I saw your hand. Oh, Lord, this one. 21. Oh. <laughs> if, if you were paying attention yesterday, you might have gotten a clue. So. Yeah, or if you tuned into our Facebook Live this morning, we did the same trivia question there. But thank you guys for all coming out and being a part of the weigh ins tonight. Let's see if this next blue will shake up the leaderboard. Boy, that didn't last long. I know. They were quick tonight. Normally it's like, we should have done the Renegade one tonight. All right, a very attentive obvi audience, obviously, following all of the uh, Big Rock social media pages. The, uh, I was just giving a quick check to on the breakwater. They are entered in all the levels of the tournament, in the Blue Marlin levels of the tournament. So uh, they have a chance at that big chunk of that $5,858,000 purse. And let's check that leaderboard again, just so you'll know the number that we're targeting here, that third place fish, 536 pounds on the high yield. Our second place blue marlin on the wall hanger, checking in at 556 pounds. And of course, the story of the week so far is the Mercenaria, 572.6 pound, their blue marlin, uh, weighing in on Monday and capturing that level five fabulous fisherman's prize, 777,000 bucks right there on the spot. So that's your leaderboard check here. Captain Ashley Forrest will uh, be bringing the breakwater in here shortly. A tie up here, a charter boat ties up on the Moorhead City waterfront. And we, of course, want to welcome them uh, appropriately to Big Rock Landing. Okay, well, here comes the breakwater. Let's hear it over here. All right, there is Captain Ashley Forrest in the breakwater. 47-foot Buddy Davis, built right here in North Carolina. Coming in like he means business here. Let's welcome him to Big Rock Landing. That's what we want to hear. Yes, sir. Coming in hot. Now, folks, that is what you call making an entrance here. And we have got a great crowd to welcome them here to Big Rock Landing. No talking to... Talking to some of the friends here, they said this is a lifelong dream, and I think uh, Captain Ashley Farr shares that with uh, with lots of captains to making grand entrance like that into Big Rock Landing. And again, you saw uh, you saw the fish, the uh, process here earlier on the Miss Y. Uh, Randy and George, our waymasters, into the cockpit. Take care of a little paperwork. 
get some measurements. And of course, we want to encourage our way station crew when the time comes to heft this big girl out of the cockpit. Again, let's check that leaderboard here real quick. 536.8 on the high yield is that third place number. Tournament pays down three places in these levels. All three boats on the board are in all of the uh, blue marlin levels, as is the breakwater. There you go, here we go. I can tell you he's jammed in one end of the cockpit and the bill is just about through the door. Here we go. Okay, George says, here we go. Let's give our boys some encouragement here. Let's hear it for the crew of the breakwater. All right, we got some more to go here. Keep it coming. Almost there. Looking good. All right, that number, that third place number, one more time, 536. Let's see what Randy has to say here. All right, 427.8 pounds does meet the tournament minimum of 400 pounds, but is not going to move that leaderboard. Mercenaria safe still in first place. But regardless, 
we heard that this is uh, this is a lifetime dream come true to weigh in a blue marlin here at Big Rock Landing during the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Congratulations to Captain Ashley Forrest and the crew. Hey, and thanks to our crowd for being here tonight. Great crowd. Hope you have enjoyed the spectacle this afternoon. The story of the day, however, is the Carolina time knocking out a 54.1 pound dolphin jumping into the lead for $527,000 in the winner take all dolphin division. But let's get our pictures taken here as day four of the record-breaking Big Rock, 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament comes to its an end. Four hundred and twenty-seven point eight pound Blue Marlin on the breakwater. It's great to see the local guys doing well. Mickey Boger Jr., our angler, of course. We mentioned Ashley Forrest, our captain here. All right, as we pose for some great photos here, let's hear it again for uh, for the crew of the breakwater. There you go. Let's let's bring some smiles out on these guys' faces. A long day today. Make them feel welcome here at Big Rock Landing. Absolutely, they deserve it. What a great sight it is. American flags flying in this beautiful breeze tonight. Local boys from Moorhead City making an appearance in their hometown tournament. Here comes all their family. Great chance to celebrate here at Big Rock Landing, no doubt about it. So uh, give us a few minutes, let the family enjoy themselves and celebrate for a moment. And we'll be back with you with a uh, little wrap up here and give you the uh, final tally on the results from today as day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament comes to a close.
Hey, Ashley, c come on over here for just a second. Guys, I've got Captain Ashley Forrest here from the Breakwater. Um, Ashley, I know probably not what you wanted today, but you've obviously got a uh, big fan club here. Congratulations to you on uh, catching a Blue Marlin in the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Yes, sir. It's always been a dream of mine to, to back in here and weigh one in front of everybody. Uh, it's not really the, the fish I wanted, but uh, she came up dead. Uh, I really needed the release points. Uh, couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to dumping her off and floating, but she's a good fish, man. I, we found a dumb one, dumber than we are, so uh, <laughs> that's all it took. So. Yeah, well, how about, you, how about your angler today? How did, uh, how did Mickey do for you? It, dude, he's a machine. It's unreal. I mean, three, I think three and a half hours, and I, I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it like that, so he did really good. Um, and the rest of your crew, you obviously, uh, you obviously did something right today. Tell us about, uh, you know, the, the bite here and how your crew reacted during the whole, uh, during the whole affair today. Well, I mean, uh, that's our third bite here uh, this week. We laid on uh, Tuesday. We had a bite on Monday. And we got another fish on uh, Wednesday. So, I mean, everybody was prepped. I mean, we, we do this a lot. So, I mean, I, we fish every day, chartering anyway. But I don't know. I, I yelled at them a lot. But, I mean, they, <laughs> they didn't need it. Not safe for work language, most likely. Probably. Who knows? Who knows? We can't repeat any of that. Anyway, Captain Ashley Forrest, congratulations to you uh, as you as you fulfill a lifelong dream here, uh, making making memories right here at Big Rock Landing. So congratulations to the crew at Breakwater. I uh, got a uh, at least another day. Sounds like to go. They've seen three blue marlins this week. Maybe they'll be back again. All right, so stay with us here. We're going to wrap up here in just a second. Get a leaderboard check, and uh, maybe some of the excitement will uh, die down here a little bit. Obviously, a uh, obviously a great catch here for the breakwater. Very popular amongst the uh, amongst the local crowd. So uh, stay with us, and we'll wrap it up here in just a minute on day four of the 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Ready whenever you are. Okay. Your mic, is your mic on? 
Okay, I'm pleased to be joined again by Carly Sharps. Let's see, Carly's sitting in for Curtis and Henry today. It takes uh, Carly to take care of uh, the job that those two gentlemen do. Uh, Carly, uh, obviously the story today for me is two Blue Marlins not quite making the weight, but the Carolina time in electrifying Absolutely. fashion coming in, uh, weighing in a 54.1-pound dolphin. Five hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollars. That's going to be uh, hard to beat. Prize. So that's uh, that's the story for me today. Um, you know, lots of game fish. The other thing, and I know you're going to check this for us. Um, a lot of releases today. Yep. Uh, you know, you you, you you think that we just caught the fleet just caught two blue marlins today. That is not the case. Lots and lots of action offshore today. Um, I know about two thirty. It was 32 blue marlins, 22 white ones, and two sailfish. Uh, you know, well over 50 uh, fish caught yeah. and released today. Um, but let's check that leaderboard there on the uh, on the release divisions. Yeah, too. absolutely. So today, like Tommy said, there was a lot of action offshore. We had over 38 blue marlin released from the fleet of 255 boats fishing today. Three sailfish and one spearfish, which those are really hard to tell the difference between a white marlin and a spearfish. So we had one of those released today for the first time in the tournament. And 23 white marlin. So in total, the fleet of 255 boats racked up 66 six releases today and of course two blue marlin brought to the scales and the standings today for the uh for the daily prize money of thirty seven thousand dollars we have the safari with one thousand three hundred twenty five points so they released a couple blues and a couple spears or whites or sails and then in the non-sonar release division we have um Irene in the lead overall with an estimated payout of about $130,000. And then, of course, the daily prize of $42,000, almost $43,000. And, again, another great thing that happened today from a conservation standpoint is the Waste Not a Beautiful Jarrett Bay Boat deployed one of the International Game Fish oh, Association yeah. satellite tags. So they're in the running along with Streamweaver in that Great Marlin race. Yeah. So yeah. tune back in 240 days from now and We'll see where all that fish travel. Yeah, great, great. You be sure to keep us up to date on that one, okay, Absolutely. Carly? Absolutely. All right, so day four here is uh, is a wrap. The record-breaking 64th annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament, $5,858,875 in the purse, to be exact. Uh, the Carolina time, the story of today, uh, taking uh, the lead in that $527,000 winner take all dolphin category so for those of you who've joined us here on the moorhead city waterfront we thank you all of our family and friends who are joining us around the world on big rock tv glad to have you with us we will be back with you tomorrow for day five three o'clock in the afternoon as friday day five rolls on tomorrow in the 64th annual big rock blue marlin tournament see you tomorrow see you guys